hey there, today I will be showing you how to use Backtest Excel, which is a backtesting engine created as an Excel add-in so that you can use it within, of course, Microsoft Excel. By the end of this tutorial, you will have something that looks as follows, which is a list of parameters and their respective values, specifying the behavior of the backtest. We will be using real data of, in this case, Apple. And whenever we run the backtest, we will be getting a very detailed output of our backtest. So let's recreate this from scratch and let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is install Backtest Excel, which we can do by going to Insert, get Add-ins, and within the Office Add-in Store, we can look for Backtest and install Backtest Excel, which is the first result. I already have it installed, so I won't be clicking on Add, but that's what you should do. And once you have it installed, you can go to Home and click on Backtest Excel on the right. You will be prompted this sidebar, and right now you have the free version. You should know that you can use the free version for as long as you want to, but you can also try the pro version for seven days free of charge and see if it's worth the value for you or not. You can get the license by clicking on try pro for free. You will be prompted with the following checkout page. And as you can see, there's a seven day free trial, which you can cancel anytime free of charge. After starting the trial, you will receive an email with the license key, which you can input in here. Sorry, here, use your license key and go pro here and click on set license. I will do this right now and resume with the video afterwards. Okay, as you can see, the bottom part of the sidebar changed and now we can see that we have the version Backtest Excel Pro with this version number, which is the current one. So let's get started with creating the strategy. The first thing we'll have to do is fetch pricing data. It's as follows. It's equals to stock history. We will be getting prices for Apple. The start date is going to be, let's say two years ago. Let's do today minus 365 times two. The end date is going to be today. We will want we want daily prices, so zero. We do want headers, so one. We want the columns, we want the date, the open, which is two, the high three, the low four, the close one, and the volume. Okay, so now let's go ahead and specify uh, how our strategy is going to work. In this case, it's going to be very simple. We will just be using Bollinger Bands. And whenever the closing price of a given bar uh, ends up above the Bollinger Band, we will be buying. And conversely, we will be selling whenever the close is below the lower Bollinger Band. Backtest Excel allows you to automatically calculate a lot of candlestick patterns like engulfing, hammer, inverted, piercing line, shooting star, three black crows, and I'll be adding quite a few more and also technical indicators which we will use right now. So let's add the lower Bollinger Band with a look back period of 12, the upper Bollinger Band with also a look back period of 12, and click on recalculate FX. As you can see, they are getting calculated right now. And whenever the yellow background disappears on the column, it means that it finished calculating. Now let's go back to the sheet and see the parameters of our backtest. Uh, this works in a key value pair fashion, meaning that on one column, we specify the parameter name and on the cell to the right, we specify the value of said parameter. So we have the input sheet, which is the, the sheet that Backtest Excel is going to look for the pricing data and also the technical indicators and all of that. And as you can see, it's called data underscore prices, which is the same as the this sheet name. The output sheet is going to be the name of the sheet containing the output result of the backtest. These are the 
conditions for buying and selling so we have a buy if and a sell if so we will be buying whenever we don't have a pos position already so you can see here that strat dot has position equals to false and data in period t which means the current bar if you specify t minus one it's the previous bar and, and so on dot close which is the name of the column here close is greater than data in period t and the upper Bollinger Band. This is the name of the column containing the values for the upper Bollinger Band. So if both conditions are met, then we are going to buy. Conversely, we are going to sell if we already have a position. So strat dot has position equals to true. And data in time t of the close is lower than data in time t of the Bollinger Band lower underscore 12 meaning this column we can also specify the fees in this case I will set it to 0 0.1 percent and we can also specify the type of order that we are going to create for buying and for selling in this case I'm only using market orders what we can also use limit orders but I'll be covering those on another tutorial Okay, now we have the bare minimum for running a strategy. So let's go to execute and click on run backtest. And here we have the results of our strategy. As you can see, we have a lot of data here. So let's go over these. We have the total return, the analyzed returns, the sharp ratio, the volatility, and so on. The max drawdown, the assets under management at the start and, and peak. So the percentage of the days that we did hold a position on the asset and how long our backtested period was. We also have metrics comparing our strategy to the benchmark. In this case, the benchmark is just a buy and hold strategy. So just buying Apple on the first day and selling it on the last day. You also have trade metrics, the number of trades, the win rate, the average trade return, the average win return, the average loss return, the maximum win, minimum, uh, maximum loss the durations, the maximum duration, the minimum duration, the profit factor, and how much you paid in total in fees. We also have a trade log with the seven trades that we placed, when we entered, when we exit, how many days it lasted, if it was long or short, in this case it's a long only strategy, the entry price, the exit price, how many shares we bought, the return of the trade, the PL of the trade and how much we paid in fees. We can also see the time series where we have the strategy in blue. Here we are not holding the asset, so it's a horizontal line. And in orange, we have the buy and hold strategy for comparison purposes. And last but not least, we also have a histogram of trade returns, which in this case looks pretty boring because we only have seven trades. So there's only two very big bars that don't provide much info. But if our backtest would have covered a longer period for a, for a strategy that traded more often, we would, see, we would be seeing something a little more interesting than this. So this was just a very short video to cover the basics of backtest Excel. If you want to learn more, you can go to the Learn tab and see the tutorials and documentation. I will be adding more tutorials, uh, videos, and improving the documentation of the app. Also, if you have a bug report, a feature request, or a recommendation, don't hesitate to reach out, and it will be much appreciated. Okay, I see you in the next one. Thanks.